so by now we know that the mechanical energy is the combination of the kinetic and the potential energy now how to calculate the mechanical energy to calculate the mechanical energy of an object you simply need to find the total of the kinetic energy and all forms of potential energy which means the e mechanical equals e kinetic and e potential and because the gravitational potential energy is defined relative to the reference point the mechanical energy will depend on a reference point as well now let's take a quick example on how to do the calculation for mechanical energy let's say we have a cannonball over here that is fired from earth's surface at the peak of it is trajectory it has a horizontal speed of 160 we call it as v2 and it is 1.2 by 10 to the power of 3 meters height above the ground what is the mechanical energy of the cannonball at the highest point on its trajectory if the mass of the cannonball is 5.2 kilograms so here we have the mass we have the velocity we have the height and we have the gravitational acceleration what we need we need the e mechanical we know e mechanical equals e kinetic plus e potential e kinetic is 1 over 2 mass by velocity squared plus e potential is mass by gravitational acceleration by height so we have 1 over 2 by 5 by 160 plus 5.2 by 9.8 by 1.2 by 10 to the power of 3 would give you 1.28 by 10 to the power of 5 joules isolated systems versus the non-isolated systems in energy it is important to define if the system that you have in front of you is an isolated system or a non-isolated system to differentiate between isolated system and a non-isolated system imagine there is two people in the room each person have a certain amount of money and let's assume the door is locked over here there's no way to escape outside the room let's say this person have twenty dollars and this person have ten dollars now the room is a system in this case since there is no way out so the system is closed now if I tell you how much money is in the room I would search all over the room ask these people they will say I have 20 and this guy have 10 so I would say the system in this case the closed system is the room and these people having $30 in the room so the system have $30 there is no tendency that those $30 will be more because nobody from from a window or a door will give them that money and they will not of course create money from nowhere and this money as well cannot be lost if you search in the room you will find the $30 that the system have while if you have an open door room this system is an open system this girl have $20 this guy have $10 you have 30 but there's somebody else who can come from outside give the girl 10, 10 extra dollars or take from her whatever he can so in this case we can't tell that the total amount of money in the room is 30 we can't even guess unless we know how much money has been lost or been added now what is the relation between the isolated systems and conservation of energy while the objects within the isolated systems are free to interact with each other they cannot be subjected to unbalanced forces from outside that system so when we are talking about conservation of energy we are talking about a closed system same as the example of the closed room so the energy is here imagining them as money in the previous example there is no energy being lost no energy being added so the total energy is the same even if there is component within the system that are losing energy to each other the total energy gained versus lost will be the same for mechanical energy no force from the outside of the system may work to transfer energy to or from any object inside the system the quantity of energy in the system must be constant but we need to keep in mind that closed system means it's a frictionless system because friction is a loss of energy but uh, we consider the friction force as an outsider energy and friction force known that to let the energy escape through heat same as the brakes in your car an isolated system should be frictionless and we will talk more about these ideas as moving forward